Hey guys, this is Bobo the Vulture. Hazel is being a little sweetheart. Maybe she heard what I said about her in the last video. About her trip to the vet and the bill that it cost. But she is trying to make it up to me right now. We're playing Castlevania Symphony of Night on the PS3 Virtual Console. Hey, Anath. It's nice to have you back. Let's press start. This is just a... Uh, this is just uh, having fun goofing around um, run here because, uh, you know, considering I've already taken 20 minutes uh, and I haven't gotten, you know, like I'm, I'm not to the inverted castle yet. I'm already way off of speedrun pace. That's right, kitten. I'm on way off of speedrun. I'm on way off of speedrun pace. You know what, there are no bosses to be faced right here right now, so I'm actually going to curl back around. We are close to Ulrox's quarters. We could go fight Ulrox. Excuse me. We could just leave that, s that spectral blade alone. Blade, he's over here trying to fight vampires. Hey guys. Well, that was pretty fun, huh, fellers? I am off the Richter scale. <laughs> For speedrunning, I am well and truly off the Richter scale. I'm trying to shake things up here. Now, I guess to get to the uh, true meat of Aurox's quarters... Go this way. <laughs> hey, friend. You guys see these moves? Hey, Hazel. Oh. And that's why you want to make sure that you're on that uh, leaping motion by the time you actually get to one of these enemies. I don't want that. Uh... Nope, nothing over there. Nothing up my sleeve. Let's just try very carefully to stay on the top up here. Good job. Oh no, I missed whatever that was. Alright, I guess this is going to be slightly difficult. How do we get through here? This is terrible. I was really hoping to go meet Ulrox and check out his quarters, but uh... No. What if I get a little bit farther back than that? Nope. If I get a little bit farther back than that? if I have to do some kind of blade dash from like right here. That's pretty close. 
That was a little high. That wasn't a blade dash. That was a little low. Well, actually, those were both well low. Very curious situation here. Oh, that was not bad. This is what everybody was hoping to see today. Of course, the question is, how do I get out on the other side? Do I trap Richter in there forever? Thought about doing Act Razor 1 or 2? Yes, I have thought uh, very much about doing Act Razor 1 or 2. I don't own Act Razor 1, I own Act Razor 2. It is a difficult game, though. I tell you what, though, right now, just because of sort of the way that uh, time and schedule and things are working out for me these days, uh, I've been thinking a lot about my. Uh, like unfinished business in gaming um, I've never actually played through this game as Richter so I figure I better do that um, I have never um, I have never played through Steambot Chronicles surprisingly as uh, as a bad guy because, in part, it's just I get into playing that game, and I just love all the characters and the world so much, I don't want to screw it up. Oh, screw it. I seem to do a lot of hopping around here, but, uh, you know, whatever. Hey, a dollar. There's a nice shiny dollar in it for you. Oh, what happens here? I like to sit down and, uh... Anyone want to come in and confess their sins to me, Richter Belmont? But yeah, I've oh, watched Steambot play through the other day again. Yeah, it's, I mean it's my fav it's it's my favorite video game. I you know I don't get in I I I often attempt to avoid superlatives in these sorts of situations, but I mean Steambot Chronicles is my favorite video game. I just love the world, I love the characters, I love what clearly seems to be just sort of like a labor of love for the people that were involved in making it. I get over here, and since I didn't go back, yeah, to set that up, I won't be able to, uh, because I died after that whole traveling around on the other side of there. But I love the world, and... It's clear. I, like I feel like it's pretty clear that the uh, the localization team had a lot of fun with the game. I mean, it's a game that's sort of all just about being a little bit of goofy fun. It's very cute. Not in like the kawaii animals sense or anything like that, but just you know. Whip does not seem to be doing very much against the hunting girl, coincidentally. That sure did. Ding dong, this just in. Ding dong, ding dong. 
Also, there's no meeting Maria in this uh, version. All the cinematics. Let's. It's. I, I know. I've. I've probably mentioned it before, but all the cinematics in uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. All the dialogue sequences. Everything that had dubbed dialogue in it at some point or another. It's all missing. It's all not here because they didn't dub. They. They didn't write new scenes for. Well, what would happen if uh, Richter and Maria saw each other in the castle? Um, which theoretically actually would be kind of an interesting uh, interaction because uh, the whole reason Maria is supposed to be here is because she's looking for Richter because Richter came to the castle Richter came to the castle to uh, you know figure out what was going on because I guess there was you know he had already theoretically taken care of the evil here, but uh, he came hunting and uh, was drawn back here. And Maria was actually Maria was a little girl in Castlevania Rondo of Blood that you could rescue, and became another playable character if you did. Ding dong. So like if you did encounter Maria in one of the places where Maria is like populated in this uh, game, she would show up and be like, oh, Richter, I found you. Are you okay? And you would probably say that you were. Oh, I'm doing a cool pose here because there's a boss battle about to happen. I'm about to hit the triangle button. Let's flip onto that. Yeah. Yeah, basically, I mean, you've seen how easily regular enemies can kill Richter. You don't, like, you just don't want to fight bosses, which makes it a little bit silly the way this game is set up. But, you know, the game wasn't exactly ever set up with the idea that this is how you would play it. It was set up more along the uh, lines of you were going to play it as Alucard, and that since they'd already programmed a playable Richter character in, they might as well, you know, set it up. Like, all of his damage and his abilities and stuff like that were all designed around the prologue of the game, because, you know, like, they had control set up for, him for the prologue of the game, and... Uh, also for the boss battle that you have with him during the Alucard version of the game. Because the Alucard version of the game, I'm saying that's like a version of the game. That's the game. This is just bonus material. Getting freaking killed by a bird over here, guys. That's pretty great. And that's what can happen as Richter. Because Richter is not very strong. I mean, he's powerful. He's got lots of uh, strength. He could do he could do a lot of damage, but uh, he can't take it. Can't dish it out. I mean, he can dish it out. He can't take it. You guys, uh, hopefully, you're all understanding uh, how things are going. Although obviously, I'm I'm streaming at a uh, an odd time of day, and not a lot of people are uh, really looking at streaming. So right now, it's just pretty much me and Anna hanging out, which uh, I'm fine with. CD. You can tell we're getting very near the most difficult parts of the game. Because uh, these enemies are taking two hits to kill. You know that uh, guy's getting hard now.
You remember the Axe Knights from earlier, they would just go down like chumps. Not so these guys. So this is the Castle Keep. Hazel, you want to hop onto my lap, clearly. You want to attempt to hop onto my lap. Oh, OD Dubs, you're there but lurking. Also, I the chat screen is a little bit away from me. So, uh, I initially read lurking as something else that ends in, like, CKIN sort of thing. I was like, you know, cool, Overlord Dark Wolf. Uh, that's something that people ought to do, but uh, I don't know that I would do that. I don't know that I'd be, like, watching a stream while I was doing that. Very atmospheric, guys. What do you say we go kill Dracula? Dracula's certainly going to be over here, right? Also, that you would take a break in the midst of whatever activity to be like, Oh, no, no, there are other people here. Don't feel bad. Hold on a second. <laughs> I gotta type something into my computer real quick. Come on. Oh, nice try. Don't actually want the cross. Oh, there it was. And again, there's nothing really to be accomplished from uh, going up here. It's just more exciting areas for Richter to hang out and be like, hey. What are you going to do, Dracula? I'm breaking all your stuff. Yeah. So, since this battle is a battle that has a cinematic in front of it, either when you come here as Richter in the prologue and there's the whole miserable little pile of secrets thing, or if you come back here as, Aluc or as uh, Alucard and the Dark Priest Shaft is here, it starts talking to you about stuff, there's a cinematic that has to trigger before there's a boss. None of the uh, battles that have a cinematic that's set up in front of it happen. So, like, in the Upside Down Castle, which we can now get to, because we don't have to fight a boss to get there. It's just... He points up, and he's like, Yeah! And he goes to the Upside Down Castle. Now, the Upside Down Castle, I believe you deal double damage, because the enemies are that much more uh, difficult to handle. But uh, I don't know that you absorb double you absorb double damage. So, like even more so here than in the rest of the uh, in the in the first part of the game. Like Richter's going down to one hit from anything here. Not much going on here. See you, Yorick. 
I knew him. Hey, and there's a skull. And now we're back over here. Go ahead and save the game while we're in Upside Down Land. Just, you know, because we made it to Upside Down Land. That's fun. Event flags, your totally favorite thing about games. Well, there you go. Yes. All of the event flags have been removed from this game. So we can't have the battle with the succubus in the Upside Down Castle. Um, we can't have the... Well, we can't have the battle with Richter, both because we are Richter and because there is, you know, a cinematic that happens in front of it. You're all like, you know, Alucard shows up and is like, what do you mean you're the master of this castle? And Richter is like, get away from me. I'm the master of this castle. They might have said those things in a different order. Also may not have used those exact words. Because those words are dumb words. Interesting. We can't get into... We can't get that way from here. We have to use this way to get any farther into the Upside Down Castle. Oh, hey, boss. Hydro Storm, y'all. I will go this way, thanks. Oh, you were telling me about this hidden secret here. Thanks again. Oh. That one bomb. Took off most of my health. And it hadn't even exploded, you guys. It was just the the lead the leaden orb. Interestingly, that set of spikes didn't actually hurt me that much. Hey girl. Oh, no! I needed that holy water. Actually, I guess the, uh... The, the weapon crash for the, uh... The weapon crash for the dagger is actually pretty good, too. We can, we can try a boss with that and see what happens after we save the game. And we pet Hazel the cat because, not only because she's cute and everything, but because she was scratching at herself. We're trying to avoid having her do that. Oh no, we're dead. That's what happens in this game. You stop being alive. Yeah, they didn't put a whole lot of effort into making Richter mode some kind of extra special, uh, cool thing with all the extra stuff in it. Like, uh, alright, we're on the reverse keep now, though, so the question is, is that enough of reverse lands? Do we go back into the regular castle and fight some more of those bosses? Do we continue to go forth and try and find the Dark Priest Shaft? See if we can get to the ending? I mean, you've pretty much seen what boss fights are like in this version of the game. I could always go back later and attempt to more fully explore this area, but... Hydro 
But yeah, I don't want to spend my time there whipping that guy because I will die. I will take, I will get hit, and he will kill me in like one go. I find myself desperately wishing for a double jump. I did not mean to dash into those spikes. You probably gathered as much. I didn't mean to gather dash into that bomb night either, but it happened. We can't always do things exactly the way that we want to. little bonus. Yeah, Richter is the after-dinner mint. This gets difficult, as it turns out, because you can really only take a couple of hits. It's like the very end of any of the Castlevania games, where you can take like maybe four hits of anything. Everything does like a quarter of your life bar's damage. That's basically what we're like at here. That's basically what we're like at here. You guys, that's what we're like at. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this off for YouTube. And when we come back next time, YouTube, uh, I'll either chicken out and go back and fight some earlier bosses in the regular castle, or uh, we'll continue attempting this very difficult slog through the clock tower and the hallway full of bomb dudes, because that's the only way that you can get forward, because you can't fly up that... Uh, up the basically the the other way on top of sort of Dracula's like little keep area. Anyhow, this is Boba the Vulture, and oh, it's got some after eights, which is nice. So, you guys have good nights and enjoy your mints. Bye for now.